Are you the same Isaiah Anthony Martinez who was placed on deferred adjudication in 2021 CR 10090 for the offense of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon on March 2nd, 2022 for a period of six years? Is that you? State? Violated condition number four in Bear County, Texas, the defendant, Isaiah Anthony Martinez, is then and there failed to report to the supervision officer as directed for the months of June and July 2022 in violation of condition number two. How do you plead to that? True or not true? true. Did you understand by pleading true to violations condition number four, the court could find it true, grant the motion, find you guilty, sentence you up to 20 years in prison and up to a $10,000 fine? Knowing that, do you still wish to plead true to violation of condition number four? I'm sorry? Yes, Your Honor. Court will find violation of condition number four true. Is there an agreement? Uh, no, Your Honor, there isn't an agreement. All right. State, what are you requesting? Uh, Your Honor, uh, he was on deferred for ag assault with a deadly weapon, maximum range punishment is 20 years. We can ask for that. Uh, it appears that he hasn't cooperated with probation, he hasn't shown up to any appointments. He don't think he's a good candidate for the operation. Yes. Judge, if I may, uh, he, he did not pick up any new cases. He, he was put on in April, I believe, and so he reported actually March, reported March, April, and May. And then in June, he ended up moving out of his mother's house, moved into Hayden Cole, didn't have a phone, didn't have Wi Fi. And so he just, he just failed to report. So June and July of last summer, he had turned 26 in February last year. So this dog has day he turned 27. He's a young man. He did not pick up any number one. But he has to go to report. I'll explain to him he's got to make use of his priority. And he said that's what his goal is now. His girlfriend uh, emailed me a, a long letter about that she's going to support him and help. They're going to live together at his mother's house and go to work. But her email talks about that her father will hire him in California. They live in El Monte, California, and he has a flooring service. Yeah, flooring service. So she said, we would like to move to California, live with my parents. He would work for my dad 40 plus hours every week. So for those reasons, he's asking, probation here recommended uh, ISF, which is about a 90 day program. And there's about a six week wait to get into the program. So he's asked that in, in lieu of him losing out till about June or even July before he can go uh, get this job, he, he'd like to apologize to the court. He did not pick up this case. I don't think he has a drug or an alcohol problem, but I do think he did not understand the priority he has to give this court if he expects to stay out of prison. And I've explained to him what you can do to him, which is a, a lot of years for a 26 year old man. So is there anything you would like to tell me? Why will you be successful now? Um, uh, you want to I raise do. your right hand for me, please? You yeah. solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth. So help you, God. Yes, sir. You can lower your hand. State your name for the record. I'm John Martinez. Yes. Okay. Hi. Um, we met last year. <laughs> um, I do apologize for my action. My um, I did not. If everyone could please whisper, we're on the record. I know I didn't report to um, probation like I was. I was supposed to, um, but right now uh, my daughter is in 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 need of help right now. Um, she's ten years old. Uh, my mother actually has full custody of her, but I would actually like to apply for full custody back. Uh, well, no, because I, let me ask you this: because you're talking about fighting for full custody of your ten year old, when have you been in her life on a um, regular basis, stable? Yeah, that's that's a, that's the reason. Uh, when I did go to Dominguez, um, I had to give her my right because I was gonna. Years. Yeah, so no, there's none of this. Yes, yes you, I understand. Here's the thing. Okay. There should be none of this. You're trying to step in and take full custody of a 10-year-old when that I you haven't been a parent to. Yes. And where's her mother? Um, her mother, she's she lost full custody because she uh, had gotten a uh, CPS card on her because she started shooting up dope. All right, and so this is what I... This is what I know to be true. Mm -hmm. I know if you hang around the barber shop at some point in time, you're going to get a haircut. Yeah. So you are not hanging around with her, not using drugs. No, I'm, so, I'm, not, I'm not with her. Uh, I, have an, I have a new girlfriend that's, you know, in the future, she wants me to be working with her father. She has a job waiting for me in California. Um, I know I didn't, all my mistakes and stuff in, in the past, but I'm looking forward to doing better this time. Um, and if the judge lets you out, where would you live? With my mom. With my mom. Okay. All right. with my girlfriend and my daughter. 
And then what do you have a job right now? Um, landscaping, but I'm gonna be working. I'm gonna be applying for other jobs for. That's not right. you, you're gonna have to figure out a different place to stay other than your mother because you're not coming to our household right. and disrupting her relationship with a ten year old that you are no longer father to. So, and so, and wait a minute. And we're not gonna do this thing in court. And I don't know what has happened to society where this always happens, where people just play house at their parents' house. They move in with their girlfriend girlfriend and boyfriend living there or either they're moving in with the parents of the girlfriend i'm not having that so if your girlfriend is stable that means that she's stable on her own not stable oh i'm your girlfriend and i'm moving in with your mom yeah. no yes judge if i may looking at the due diligence report on the court summary um it does appear that he had previously lived his mother's home but then that produced most addresses and then that's where we could have contacted him and then when they went to do a field visit out there, they was not contact. Okay. She, she originally got a new apartment um, on by Rigsy. So that, that's where she, she said, I'm allowed to go back. Um, that, you know what I mean? She didn't have me get back on my feet. Yeah, you're 36 years old. When do we stop? 26? You're 26 years old. At what time does it stop where parents have to keep helping people get back on their feet because they're making bad choices in their life? This point in time, yes, I do have to grow up, um, you know, but I have a life better, like I have here now, a long life, and I'm looking forward to, to, to do better. All right, this is what the court is going to do. I'm going to give you a choice. I'll deny the motion, alternate main conditions, but you're going to be going to ISF cognitive and substantive track, or I can send you to prison for five years. And then once he's released from ISF, we can see about the transfer to California. So which would you prefer? All right, the court will deny the motion to alternate main conditions to include ISF cognitive and substantive track. Um, we can see about a transfer to where in California? L, two words, E-L, and then M-O-N-T-E, El Monte, California. Okay, El Monte, California. And if that transfer is not approved, I'm going to want the UA hotline where he tests weekly until further notice. And he's not allowed to reside with his mother. And if you can't find housing, then you're going to be at Haven for Hope. Okay. And I'm going to want field visits upon release three times per month. And then um, probation, if you see that less is needed, um, I'll leave it up to your discretion. Is there anything else? No, you're right. All right, you need to do better. Yeah. And since your mom has your 10 year old, Maybe you need to start sending some child support money to her. I mean, that's not laughable. Ten-year-olds are expensive. Yeah. Thank you both. Thank you, Judge. Good to see you. You too. State of Texas versus Isaiah Anthony Martinez. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? Daniel All right. And defense, are you asking for a new trial on this case? Yes, Any objections? No, no. All right. So, uh, Mr. Martinez, can you raise your right hand for me, please? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth? So, help you God. All right. You can lower your hand, state your name for the record. All right, Mr. Martinez, the court had informed you that the court would either sentence you to five years in prison or either you could go into treatment through ISF. Uh, at first, you stated you wish to go to ISF. Your attorney has informed the court that you wish to serve your prison sentence. Is that correct? All right. Then the court will grant the motion. Are you waiving your right to appeal? Yes. All right. The court will grant the motion, find you guilty, and sentence you to five years in the prison. There's an affirmative finding of deadly weapon. And there's to be no unsupervised contact. 
with minors. Let me see. And there's to be no contact with Robert Wagner. Is there anything else from either side with regards to sentencing? Yes. And the court will give you credit for any time served. All right. Did you review the document entitled Trial Court Certification of Defendant's Rights to Appeal with your attorney? Did you understand it and did you sign it? Because this is a plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement, and because you waive your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. Do you understand? All right. Good luck to you. Thank you. You're welcome.